My name is Dr. Christine Walela and I'm a research agronomist. My name's Sarah Day. I work as a research officer. I'm Dr. Penny Roberts and I'm a research scientist and the site team leader at the Clare Research Centre. Some of the subjects that I've actually uh, done that help me uh, to do this work is uh, because we, you know, we do research, we run trials. We have to be able to understand uh, the soil and the plant interactions. And so we need to learn a bit about chemistry, a bit of physics. This helps you to understand how do nutrients move in the soil and get to the plants and how do the plants take them up. And also we need a, lot, a bit of maths to be able to use the data that you've collected over time and to make sense on what this data is telling you. I would use science and maths definitely on a daily basis, technology as well. Biology definitely uh, would use and chemistry if we're working with chemical products or working in the labs. So within my day-to-day -day responsibilities within the research component of what I do, I use maths and science and a lot of English. Um, communication is really important in my role as the site team leader. Um, so a lot of those English and communication skills as well. I actually love living in the country, you know. Uh, this work that I do, uh, the best place to do it is in the countryside because this is where you're interacting with the growers and this is the best fit for the job. I love working in the country but I might be biased because I grew up in the country and I only am about half an hour from home but I love working outdoors, I'd much prefer that than sitting at my desk. As someone who grew up uh, on a farm and always had a passion for agriculture, um, where I'm most comfortable and do my best work is when I'm in the country. You've got to be able to take up every opportunity that you're given and even if the opportunity doesn't present itself to you, you've got to go out there and seek for those opportunities and when you get the opportunities, you seize those moments. Just go for it, don't let anyone tell you you can't or that you shouldn't do it. I work in a men's industry and I just stand up, hold my head high, I'm here to do my job and I love my job and I don't think anyone should tell us not to do what we love to do. The majority of what you do in your job can be mundane and boring and it's those 15% of times when you get that amazing buzz in your job that gives you the delight that you have in the work you do. So do what you're passionate about and do what you love and you will succeed. 